one is being called the most significant abortion case since the overturning of Roe versus Wade. In FDA and Danco Laboratories versus Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine, the most widely used form of abortion in America is being called into question. Monsi Alvarado, president of EWTN News, breaks down the arguments and controversy inside and outside of the courtroom. We're standing outside of the Supreme Court where both sides have come out in big numbers. For the first time ever, the high court will be debating one thing, the safety of abortion. The Supreme Court heard two consolidated cases, both centered around the FDA's approval of mifepristone, the first of two drugs used in a chemical abortion. Elizabeth Prelogar, Solicitor General for the Department of Justice, argued on behalf of the Biden administration. She told the justices that the plaintiffs had no right to seek such far-reaching relief, arguing the doctors and associations are already protected by federal religious freedom laws. If the doctors have a conscience injury, there's a specific statute designed to deal with it, to specifically tailor-made guard against the risk of that injury occurring. And instead, they're reaching out and seeking to invoke rights under a different statute. And the, the relief that they're seeking would dramatically alter the approved conditions of use for mifepristone and affect women all around the nation. The justices seemed unconvinced that the doctors had any right to sue in this case, meaning that access to mifepristone could remain the same. And this case seems like a, a prime example of turning what could be a small lawsuit into a nationwide legislative assembly on, 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 a, on a, an FDA rule or any other federal government action. They're saying because we object to having uh, to be forced to participate in this procedure, we're seeking an order preventing anyone from having access to these drugs at all. And I guess I'm just trying to understand how they could possibly be entitled to that given the injury that they have alleged. Questioning the drug maker Danko Labs, Justice Alito attributed financial gain to their defense motives. I gather your injury is that you think you're going to sell more. Uh, if the restrictions that previously were in place were lifted. Yes. So you're going to make more money. I think that uh, certainly a company's ability to market its product is a part of how it considers the regulatory scheme that governs its conduct. Aaron Hawley, senior counsel at Alliance Defending Freedom, represented the pro-life doctors at the high court. So to speak to Dr. Francis uh, at the beginning, there's been some confusion, I think, about uh, the precise nature of the conscience harm. But if you look at JA 155, uh, paragraph 15, uh, she talks about her and other APLOG members who object not only to taking the life of an unborn child uh, during an elective abortion, but also to, quote, completing that process. Vastly outnumbering pro-life advocates, pro-abortion groups led arguments of a different nature outside the court. We're here to support reproductive rights and stand for abortion. If the medicine has been proven to be safe multiple on multiple occasions, why would we not continue to use it? Dozens of white lab coats could be seen on the pro-life side. Doctors who have helped women who face deadly complications from taking mifepristone. Dr. Susan Bain, a board-certified OBGYN, says she and her medical colleagues are the last line of defense for women who take the abortion pill without medical supervision. The FDA's label is one in 25 women will end up in the emergency department with potentially life-threatening complications. And because of that, we are put in a position to help them. The reality is, is that what's happening right now with abortion drugs is not standard of care. Women need ongoing care. They need the same medical histories, physical exams, labs, and diagnostic testing. They need follow-up. And they're getting none of that with this. Monte Alvarado, EWTN News Nightly.